Hello everybody, welcome back to the Max Hamilton Road to the Show series here on Franchise Gaming, episode 133. And I just got the last, uh, I got this episode started, and then I realized my audio is messed up because I was in a party. So I decided to restart the game, I was only in the first, don't worry. Uh, we were out 3 0 so it was actually good, but we'll redo it. And I got a, see, we lost three out of the next four in this Angels series. But we got, yeah, here it is. It appears the last game ended abruptly before the scheduled nine innings. Please make sure you, yeah. So, if you see in the bottom right our bro challenge, our K per nine, strike out at least one batter in your next appearance. And we get a plus five cap. We're definitely going to be able to do that. But anyways, we play the Angels today. And uh, in the past, we've played pretty well against the Angels. Four games, two and one record, 165 ERA with 30 strikeouts and a little over 27 innings. Um, so we played really well against them. And they are 16 and 8. We are not 16 and 8. Let's check out their lineup real quick. Manuel Ibar, Mookie Betts, Alex Bregman, Chris Taylor, Ryan Healy, Tyler Naquin, David Fletcher, Travis Green, and Austin Hedges. Alex Bregman was recently acquired for them. And maybe Chris Taylor was? No, he's played the last two of them. I remember facing him now. Uh, but Bregg was, and he was the, last year's AL MVP, so. They got basically their trout back. Uh, and they also acquired Met Betts a couple years ago, who's been pretty good for him, especially this year. And leadoff hitter Manuel Ibar is progressing very well. Are we going to get this message every time? Uh, their rotation is pretty solid, too. I've already done all this, obviously, because of the last video. But uh, Shohei Otani, Jaime Berea, Tyler Skaggs, Andrew Heaney. And Gene Burkhart. Gene Burkhart's who we'll be facing today. He's got a potential 22 years old. <laughs> Sounds like somebody I know. Uh, it's 77 overall. Uh, fastball, curveball, slider cutter. And their bullpen's gotten better. Two good setup men. And then Edwin Diaz to shut things out. I mean, they're they're low-key killing it on the, on the pitching side, which is unlike the Angels. But anyways, that's about all. Let's uh, go ahead and get into this game versus them. All right, lineup is looking like this for us, or our defensive alignment. Uh, still no friends boost with Stefan Fernandez, Billy McKinney. Definitely not Stefan because we barely played with him. Um, but we maxed Robbie Paul. That was our friend that we got max. I'll leave it to Matt. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. This should be a fun battle to watch, and it'll take place right after this. Gene Burkhart will be on the mound for game four. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, in this day and age where we're all into numbers and statistics, look at this whip, 1.10 or less. He has a sub 1.1. That's not an easy thing to do, especially in today's game where we see teams oh, scoring a lot. We end up putting one on the board. Into the box now, Manuel Ibar. it lead things and off here in the bottom oh, half of the first. Not your stop. Which is nice. They put up three last time. But I was like, oh my gosh, my audio. <laughs> and we don't get the first pitch strike. We're 10 and 15. Lord. Come on, Blue Jays. Looking to avoid the sweep versus this Angels team. On the ground, VR has it. Ibar has some speed, but he will be thrown out for out number one. All we need is one strikeout for our, you know goal to get a plus five to the cap of K per nine. Which would be pretty nice in Max's development. We wouldn't have to use that on one of his things. I'm sorry if the audio is slightly delayed. Or if the gameplay is slightly delayed. I don't think it is. I don't know. I'm having some problems with my Elgato right now. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes in this one, Mr. James Kingsley. Dan, I know it was an offensive. Popped it up. Mm, 
you can have it. You can have it. Two down. Work that friendship with Fernandez. And Bragg will step up. This guy's a very good pitcher's umpire, apparently. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I gotta believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. No Justin Upton on this Angels team anymore, which makes me feel a little better. He crushed us sometimes. 0-2, oh, sweeping curve to get Bragg. We'll chase. We also did cutter control and K per nine for our dugout uh, boost. Splitter low. Well, you got to get below the zone, Splitter. Grichuk with the gun. And he won't get him. It'll be a two-out double for Alex Bregman. Dang. I thought we got him out at second, too. I am tight for Chris Taylor. 92, strike one. Strike one. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. Ready with the 0 and 1. Bounce towards the second baseman. You've got it, Adam. Bare hands the ground ball, and that'll be the out. Hey, let's move on to the second. Break had a two out double, but we're fine. Afternoon business person special following this. Let's keep going. So here's Tyler Naquin. It's been a four for twelve effort in the series for him coming in. Tyler Naquin. All right, Tyler. First pitch on its way. And a ball one and zero. All right. Well, you said this blue was gonna call a little out of the zone. That wasn't out of the zone. That was strike, probably. Okay, then. I can't tell you how big a pitch that is right there to be called a ball. 2-0 as an offensive player, man, it's almost 70% fastball. 1-1, he opens up the entire arsenal. There we go. And he fouls this one off. I'd rather run it into the strike zone than out. We got him to foul it off, so where do we want to go? He wants to go splitter. I want to go sweeping curve. That's where we're going. Naquin fouled it off. He's super early. So I'm going to go circle change. <laughs> That's a really good spot for it, too. That's a good fastball, high and tight. Just a bit and we're not getting another call. Wow. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the Just don't want to lose him, so I'm going sweeping curve. And execute your plan. And he swings through a first strike out of the game, and that is the challenge, right? Yep. <laughs> a plus five to our cap, I guess. That might be more useful against closers. Useful for closers. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fouled off. Foul off fastball. One out, nobody on. Super late. Circle change outside. Way out in front. Okay. Splitter. Why not? See if we can get Healy to chase. He will, but he's super late, so I say we go fastball in the zone on 0-2. And he got it. Off the wall. 
One out double for Ryan Healy. I know I should have put it out of the zone. Just rushed it. Yeah, I know what he did. David Fletcher. <laughs> we'll start him with a circle change. Yandy Diaz has it. I'll cover your bag. Thank you, Yandy. Two down. So here's Austin Barnes. And Austin Barnes steps up. It won't be Austin Hedges. And Austin has had a tough time this season so far. He's going to ground out to Yandy here. And we'll get out of the inning. So one out double this time. Uh, amounts to nothing, basically. Two ground balls to Yandy. Finished it. We got a strike out that inning. Let's keep on par with our strikeout per inning. Hi, why are you here? Fans a lot to cheer about from the pitching mound this season. In terms of ERA and WHIP, they rank among the best pitching staffs in the league, leading some of the position players I talked with to sing their praises, while also emphasizing how happy they are to play behind them on defense instead of facing them in the batter's box. One of them told me, "Our guys are awesome on the mound. They keep us in every game, and they really work." I didn't even skip her. They just skipped her on its own. So striding in, Travis Green. And he did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this Hey, here we go. First pitch of the at-bat. It's a good backdoor cutter. And the nine hitter, Travis Green, will foul it off. <coughs> Excuse me. He's hitting really bad right now. Sweeping curve. Maybe that is back foot. And he actually got it for a hit. Wow. That is so unfortunate. That was a really good pitch. Look at that. Strike one. Doesn't seem to be going yet. Green aboard here at first with nobody out. Won't take an extra lead, so we'll go cutter. You will just look at it. So the intent of that O2 cutter right there isn't necessarily to get a swinging strike. If you get it, well, hey, that's great. But if you get it inside enough and he does make contact, he probably can't do anything with it anyway. Hmm. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. To two balls and two strikes now. Man, he won't chase that. Pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Come on, guys. Working for the punch out and the offering. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Single. They're hit. They're just hitting good pitches. I don't know how else to describe it. Now we have to go to Mookie. And we don't have to worry about the steal as much anymore. We're not messing up in the zone this time. Chase that, Mookie. Mmm. Did a good job to short it off. Protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The one two. Broke his bat. One two again. Fouled it off. Jeez. Good grief, Mookie Betts. Splitter. I'm tired of this. He's it's still only one two. And we finally get him to go down on strikes. Strike three. Second strike out of the day. Now we have to go attack Bregman. 
recognize a hitter is in protect mode, you don't have to come inside the strike zone. And that is a perfect, perfect grounder, but it is going to be a double play. Let's go. That ball was smacked right at Adam Frazier, but I will take it every day. All right, a couple hits on a couple good pitches, uh, but we still lead 1-0. Now batting, Chris Taylor. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. Taylor leads them off here. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six. Circle change inside part of the plate. Ah. Circle change there, a ball and a strike. A high Crush that if it stays foul. Luckily, one two sweeping curve. Right oh my gosh, I I am throwing really well. I'm just. Hmm. <laughs> I can't tell you what's going on. Hey Tyler. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And we get him chase sweeping curve. Out number one. Third K of the day. <laughs> we continue to dominate lefties. By the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Next in at the plate is Ryan Healy. And we're going to get another double play ball. Yes, sir. Out of the inning just like that. Got the double play ball working for us today. 9-1-2 due up for the Blue Jays. Hopefully we can put up one more run before we continue. Yes, sir, Reese McGuire. 2-0. At the plate, David Fletcher. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they look to break and through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily. Alright, 7-8-9. Can't take these guys lightly, but we need to be careful. Strike one. Fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Fletcher actually hits that ball pretty well. But it's foul. 0 oh, 2, splitter. And another foul. Got a piece of it. He's got an ugly swing. Chase this little circle change. Oh, he will, but. If we can go even slower, that'd be amazing. 0 oh, 2. On the I forgot to cover first. Oh, thank you, Stefan Fernandez. <coughs> All right, Austin. Got to get my strikeouts up. You're not helping me, Austin. <laughs> I mean, we'll obviously take the pop up anytime. And we're working on our connection with that man at first right now. Which is good. We need his fielding up. It's pretty bad. If we want to be a Cy Young award winner, we got to get his fielding up. <laughs> go! Let's go, Stefan! <laughs> Stefan Fernandez! Leans over the thing <laughs> and grabs it out of the stands. Oh, and it's 5 nothing. Let's go. Let's go. Bottom of the inning now. So the 
Right, one, two, three. Set to go, Manuel Ibar. He singled his last time. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last okay. thing you want to do is fall behind. Ball one. Where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth. That might not be a great pitch. Oh, and this is hit high. Yeah, I, I didn't really think it would be going on the pole, but. Okay, Manuel Ibar homers. <laughs> I mean, that just shows you make a mistake in this game and it is going to punish you. That is, that's legend difficulty for you. Yeah, that ball is way over the plate. Well, that time has passed and guys like this with pop at the plate can sometimes go deep as well as anybody in the lineup. Mookie Betts is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. A swinging strike and now it's 0-2. Hey, I know it's a day game, but these guys better wake up. He's on point today. 0-2. Come on, Max. Mm. A little bit off the outside. It's 1-2. Right. We got to work through more than five. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get. The if he had to sit back, if he was late on the changeup, maybe we should go fastball. The one two. Gets him yes, sir. He'll watch the fastball. Strikeout number four on the game. <laughs> we were one ahead um, in strikeouts and innings, so we need more strikeouts. <laughs> But let's just focus on getting old Bragg out. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fastball Good fastball. For a cold strike. Come on now. Usually don't do this, but a splitter on the second pitch. Swings through. Swings through it. Number two. Not too many guys taking him out today. Right, we have plenty. Let's the just use it. On that thing. It's falling off the table. Good Fouled it off. Spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Another 0 and 2 coming. Change up inside. Ball, that's inside. Missed the spot. Well change up, especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation, you leave that belt high or miss your He wants a high and tight cutter. I'll go with it. Fouled away. And he got it. He was early. Let's go change up out. See if we can get break here. How does he get a bat on that? Lord. Going high and out fastball now. And it's fouls that off. Here he comes again. One two. One two again. Fouls that off. One, two again. Fouls that off because he won't go down. One, two again. Sweeping curve. Fouled off. Holy cow. That's 10. Splitter. Circle change, baby. That's a ball. ball two. This is exactly the reason why this guy has been so successful and has played this game so long, scrambling pitch after pitch, making this guy work out. Two two fastball low and out. This Held is off. foul right side. Another two two offering. Sweeping curve. We finally get him to ground out on a 15 pitch at bat, I think. Jeez. Alex Bregman's making us work, but. Finally retire him. I can tight fastball to start him. Come on, Blue. I mean, definitely have not gotten the benefit of the doubt today. Trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there, but I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east-west than to have you call that high fastball. 
Ooh. Good circle change. One one splitter. Ah, uh, that'll be a two out hit. Taylor's got two hits on the day. Healy will foul it off. A one circle change fouled off. We struck him out with a sweeping curve last time. I'm thinking we go back to it. That'll actually be a single. And another really good pitch is hit for a single. That base knock right there, D-Roll. He extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, hmm. you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day. Oh, hold on. Well Five four. Didn't hit his spot. This one's coming back. No siree. This one is gone. Uh Ryan Healy sends it out. So a three-run shot to left center. Fourth home run here in the early going as they pull within one here. It's now a five-four game. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he just didn't hit his spot. If I have to guess, they'll have us finish this inning. That'll be it for him. Dang it! A two-out rally. Second, uh, Naquin got a good hit off a really good pitch. Just sucks. Grab your halo, Max. Calm yourself down. O2. Struck him out at least. But the Angels strike for four. So four runs in the inning and oh. the strength of the two big flies. Seventh inning coming up. The Jays are out in front. Uh, five four, Toronto still leads, but bad inning for Max. Bad, bad inning. We will have a sub. And we actually score two, so that's really good. Now they will nearly tie it. Oh my goodness. Tie game, we won't get the win. McKinney. Ah, there we go. Three runs scored. We're gonna we're gonna win the game, but Max will not get the win. All right, <laughs> thirteen seven win. But hey, they're not gonna fight as they lock up a nice road victory here in ten innings. Twelve to seven. Good lord, that was not the best performance by Max. That was by far his worst performance of the year. Sims gets the win in relief, his second of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. 19 hits to 16. Jeez, we gave up nine of those. It's not like we pitched well. I mean, even up to that sixth inning, it was not a good. It was not a good game. <laughs> Through six innings, five strikeouts, four earned runs, nine hits. That is by far the worst start we've had of the year. Um, but that's how we'll end April. We did win, but Max did not get the win, sadly. Jeez, um, that was tough. But it happens. That's baseball. Even the best of the best. Uh, don't, don't pitch the greatest. And... Uh, the Angels are a good hitting team. That's basically what I have to say about that. If you, I mean, they just hit the cover off the ball. <laughs> uh, like, good pitches, too. Just drove it. And the next we'll know, we'll be facing off against the Detroit Tigers and Luis Perdomo. This is a team we know hit through six and a third, I think, last time. So, um, hopefully we can have a good, another good start against them. We're four back on the Rays now. And three and a half in the wild card. Angels are still one up on the Athletics at sixteen and nine. Max is still three and one. <coughs> Excuse me, but he has a two four five ERA and only forty four strikeouts and forty four innings. Jeez, I guess that's just uh, that's just the way it goes, though. Still two and one, two four three ERA. 
we'll see what happens as we continue with the season, but I'm glad, I'm very glad we get to face off against the Tigers next. Um, I don't know if you can tell by this list, but we just don't have, we don't have much help right now. We've got a couple, we've got like Rodrigo Reyes coming up, but like, we don't have much help at this point in the season. PJ McNeil's great. I think Mad uh, Mad Bum hasn't even been good. Barry Moreno hasn't been good. None of the pitching has really been good. Our catchers are absolutely god awful at hitting. I didn't even know that. And then. Oh, okay. I did want to check out this dude. Stefan Fernandez. He's a 23-year-old with C potential. Uh, 73 overall. Hmm. He's not hitting well. But he has good hitting stats. So maybe that's not a bad trade. What did we trade for him is the question. Uh, that dude was new. So I'm going to guess that was part of the deal. Acquired... Socrates Brito also. So, Rowdy, which we'll go look at right now. He's on the D-backs now. Didn't get to play with him that long last year, but he's a pretty good hitter. Really good hitting stats. Um, now, let's check out. He's a right fielder, I think I said. Socrates Brito. He's 30. Okay. Not cool. It doesn't matter. I don't know how much longer we're going to be here in Toronto. But, uh, I mean, we're 11 and 15 right now. And we've won every game except for one that I pitched in. <laughs> but, yeah, we'll be at home versus Detroit next time. Uh, I'll see you then. If you like the video, hit the like button. I did cancel the NBA tournament. I don't know what I want to do with that other slot right now. Um, yeah, that's it for me, guys. I'm out. Sub to the channel, by the way. <laughs> I'm out.